Hey guys, welcome back to Iridium 242. We have a new package that just landed from Vivor. It's a new flashlight. Stay tuned, we're gonna unbox it and check it out. All right, so this is one of Vivor's new flashlights. It is at a price point of $20, which is kind of shocking because I have used it and it's fairly bright, has a lot of modes. Uh, we're going to run through some of the specifics. Uh, the LED inside of it is an HP50. It's a super bright LED. It has a 3.7 volt, 2,200 milliamp hour battery. So it's an 18650. It has three different ways you can power this thing. So it also comes with this little cartridge that you can insert in the battery bay. It takes three AAA batteries, just in case you don't have a charger on you or something happens with one of the other bigger rechargeables. And then you do also have the option to buy the upgraded rechargeable battery which is the 26500. It's going to be just a little bit bigger than the 18650 that's in here. It only weighs 193 grams and it has a runtime of two to five hours. Obviously two hours if you're on the high setting of 10,000 lumens. It has a high setting, a medium a power saving, strobe, and an SOS mode. And it also does, it's telescopic. So you can zoom it in and out. Uh, right here on just on the bench, you can tell when I pull it in, uh, it does have a really wide radius right here. Let me get this camera back up for you guys. And as you push it out, it sinks into a nice little square. There's the medium, there's the low, the strobe obviously, and then the SOS. It does come with a USB type C. You pop this little flap open here on the back and there's your little charging point or a charging port. Uh, it is wa a little water resistant, it's not waterproof. The water resistance is IP44, so you, you can definitely can't dunk it in the water or anything like that. But the reason I immediately thought it was water resistant off the bat is when you take off the back of it here to get the battery out, you do have a nice little, over and these threads are really nice too. They're not, they're not all chonched up in there and, and crummy, they're, they're pretty nice feeling. There is a rubber o-ring here that comes pre-lubed up, so when you do take this back on and off and swapping out the batteries and whatnot, uh, it makes it a lot easier where it's not going to cut it and let water into the battery bay. With the 18650, it's the smaller the two rechargeables that you can put in here, and it comes with this little sleeve, so as you're walking around in the woods, it's not banging around and making a lot of noise on you. On the back of it, you do have a wrist wristband here. You go ahead and put it on your wrist, cinch it up, and it is pretty nice. It doesn't pull off that easy. you really got to pull it to start getting it to slip. I'm actually looking forward to going outside and testing this thing and uh, seeing how well it performs. And on the front here, you do have four LED indicators. You got the four, all four lit up. That's 100, and 75, 50, 25, and it starts flashing once it gets down to the end because I have drained this already. And they are right when they say a two to five hour runtime. If you have it on high, which is the 10,000 lumens, you are going to run through it pretty quickly. Uh, but if you keep it on medium or the power saving mode, you're easily going to get the four to five hours out of it. In comparison to one of the other flashlights I have from O-Lantern, this is the Warrior 3. It does take a, uh, I think it's a little bit bigger size battery in this one, but it's also really tight in the back here. If this one's the 21700, and this one's a lot smaller than this from over here at Vivor. And I think the one at Vivor might kick its butt. Well, let's, uh, let's check it out and you guys uh, give me your opinions on it. So let's go ahead and take it out in the yard. We'll do a little bit of a test here. And then I think me and Joey are gonna run out into the desert and we're gonna see how far it really goes because it has the SOS mode. If you're stuck up on the side of a mountain and you need to get somebody's attention just in case you're hurt and you can't move, you're injured, um, we wanna make sure you, it really reaches out there, especially when you're trying to focus it into that tight, tight little square. So yeah, we're gonna run out to the desert probably later on tonight and go out in increments of probably quarter mile. We'll probably do a quarter mile, half mile, and then a full mile. And if it's still really bright there, we're going to run out a little bit further than that. All right, let's take this outside. All right, here we are in the backyard. Uh, it's about 200 foot to the back fence. I'm going to start off with just the, the wide radius on high. That's what you got on the high. There's the medium. And, of course, power saving. Strobe. And the SOS. You go ahead and focus it in here for you. It's really nice when you focus it in, you can pull it out. There's some brake work we're gonna be doing here pretty soon. 
But there's the back fence right there. There's the medium, low power strobe. And then the SOS. Let's see if we can't go out to the desert now and give you guys a little bit of a better reference when we go out there a quarter mile, a half mile, and a full mile. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys, here we are with the Vivor. Uh, we just did a little bench test. I do have my buddy Joey out here helping me out. I need a camera on both sides so you guys can get a really good idea of how, how good or maybe how bad this light is. I think it's good so far. But I'm going to drive a quarter mile out. I'm going to turn around. We're going to talk on the walkie-talkies, and uh, I'm going to start strobing them, SOSing, uh, wide view, narrow, zooming in on them. And so you guys can get an idea how, how well this really works. Appreciate it. And there goes Matt right now. Go for it. Well, that works pretty good. Now, it doesn't, I don't know if it does it really justice on the camera. For a tenth of a mile, that's pretty good. You know, it still kind of, you know, hurts my eyes. All right, I'm going to head out to uh, a quarter mile. And if you guys didn't know, Mr. Matt here is on a walkie so we can, you know, communicate and know how far each other are. About a quarter mile. About a quarter mile, guys. Like I was saying before, you know, the camera really isn't doing it justice. I'd say it's about at least three times brighter than what it's showing on the camera. I definitely feel safe if, you know, God forbid, you know, get stuck somewhere or stranded and we need signal for help. I wouldn't mind having one of those in my bag. About to a half mile. Ready. Definitely looks like not a flashlight. I'd say at least a truck with its headlights on, maybe even a light bar. Alright guys, we just got back to the house, got out of the desert there. Uh, as you can tell, up to a mile out, that was still a very bright flashlight. You're talking about a $20 flashlight here from Vivor that has three different ways you can power it. It has a USB Type-C charging port, wristband, and it has five different modes that you can use. Um, I don't think the camera really did it justice. I am working with an old school Canon. Uh, it's not the, not the greatest camera, but just right off the top, this is something I'm definitely going to put in one of my bags. Uh, definitely one of my pack out bags I'm going to throw in the Jeep. I'm going to keep this on me. I mean, even at $20, you, you lose this in the woods or you happen to break it or something in some way, it's not really going to hurt your wallet. You can hop back on there and get a new one, throw it right back in the bag. You're going to have extra one, extra packs, you're going to have extra batteries. I Overall, I think this is a steal of a deal. I, this is definitely something I would recommend you guys pick up. I'm going to drop the link down in the description and hopefully uh, you guys give it a chance because I mean I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed for $20 I've easily paid 60 80 almost $100 for flashlights and I haven't been as impressed with those as I am with this one from Beavor um, I'm gonna get back in contact with the guy through emails and see if he has any other flashlights he wants to send my way or any other products of this type because if this is what $20 gets you I'm kind of curious what's a 60 or 80 dollar flashlight from them what's that going to get you you know so we're going to throw this in the bug out bag i hope you guys enjoyed this video we will catch you on the next one thank you